On Rapino <laughs> specifically, though, before this tournament, you know, it had been a year since we saw her at the international level. Not only does she have a couple against Argentina, she gets three yeah. goals for the tournament. Uh, any doubts about what kind of shape she'd be in, what kind of impact she had, I think have been put to bed, haven't they? Yeah, I agree. I mean, I think the big question, Mark, is you always know that Rapino has the mindset and the skill to make a difference was the big question was, was it too long of a layoff, right? She took almost all of 2020 to rest, to recover. She had some COVID concerns, so she didn't want to train. And so many were wondering, well, was that too long a runway that she took? And what she's proven, she's leading the team with five goals in this calendar year, five goals in five games. And she can still make an impact. Maybe she doesn't have quite the speed of Rapino of young days, but still going into this Olympics at 36 years old, she can be a game changer and that's what they need. So I think she for sure has cemented her place in the 18 by these per performances this year. Uh, after the game against Canada, I asked you if any of the bubble players, and remind people only 18 players will go to the Olympics for Vladko Anonofsky, if any of the bubble players had helped their case. You said no, not a zilch, zero. Nobody had really helped their case against Canada. <laughs> Let's factor in now the game against Brazil, the game against Argentina. Have any of those bubble players now yeah. helped their cause? All right, I've gotten soft in these last couple days, in this week. So uh, I would say two players. And... Mind you, I put an asterisk next to this because it was against Argentina. Uh, and Argentina, as they have been for a very long time, were underwhelming. So um, I would say, however, I thought Casey Kruger, formerly Casey Short, uh, who got her chance against Argentina, looked great. She was getting forward from that outside back position. She looked good defensively, although they weren't threatened as much, so it's hard to really assess there. But she looked confident and she looked clean. Um, I also thought Christy Mewis, in all these opportunities she's been given, uh, and we've seen her and Sa her sister Sam Mewis do so well at this level, but Christy Mewis is just getting another look after having not been with the team for over five years. I thought she looked really good as well. She's sharp. She scored a goal and I think had an assist against Argentina. So I would say Christy Mewis and Kruger were probably the only two bubble players for me and with the asterisk, it was against Argentina, who actually, I think, made it a bigger case for them getting into that 18. Tough choices then, for sure, for Vladko and Anofsky. Julie Foudy, thanks, as always, for the time. Plenty more coverage of American soccer over on our website. That's where we find the latest installation of Americans Abroad, a series that catalogs players from both the U.S. men's and women's national team as they play throughout Europe. Well, thank you very much for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming, premium content, and let's not forget as well, ESPN FC, seven days a week. Subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.